I think that this is a matter of understanding the way that some people in the world say God works and the way that God's word says that God works. God doesn't work like karma in that, you know, if I do good things, then good things happen to me. If I do bad things, then bad things happen to me. And if I, if at the end of my life, I put all of my good things on a scale and I put all my bad things on a scale and the good side sort of is heavier, then I'm going to heaven. God also doesn't work like the business world or a corporate ladder in that the more time I put in and the more good deeds I do and the better my numbers are at the end of each year, then the higher I'm gonna climb on that ladder and the more people above me that I sort of make look bad and I make myself look better than, then I'll climb higher than them and one day I'll be CEO of my own life and at the end, God's gonna shake my hand and say, awesome job, you really worked harder than anyone else and you really made everyone else look bad, so come on in the pearly gates. God doesn't work like that. God doesn't work like karma. God doesn't work like the business ladder. And I think a lot of the times that's sort of the picture that most people try and paint of getting into heaven. That's the picture that most people understand it as. But God's word says it very, very simply. Um, and it's the most popular verse in the Bible. It says, John 3:16 says, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but shall have eternal life. And in that verse, in those short words, is it is expressed so clearly how God works. And the only way that God works is not through karma, it's not through the corporate ladder, but God works through the atoning sacrifice of Jesus. And for some people that sounds ridiculous, and for some people that sounds cheesy, but that's the truth of what God says in his word, that the only prerequisite for applying into heaven is to just realize the gift that he has given us, that gift of grace through the sacrifice of Jesus and to accept it and to believe in his son and that washes us from our sins and that is the only qualification we need. No matter what we've done, no matter who we've been, that decision is considered enough, it is considered more than enough to qualify even the lowest of the low to enter through the gates of heaven. Before you go to heaven though, you should keep asking us more questions using the hashtag AskAnima or just comment below. Also check out our other videos, they come out every single Friday. We'll see you next week.